I'm out here on the Regulator 37 in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a beautiful day out here and I can't wait to show you this boat. I've been running it for a couple hours now. It is absolutely impressive. So let me show you around. I have hole number one of the Regulator 37. Let's go check this thing out. The Regulator 37 just came out. This is hole number one. It is powered by triple Yamaha 425s. This thing performs awesome. It is very similar to the 41. It's actually a little bit wider than the 41. Uh, the seating is similar. It's got rear facing seating. It's got the Ford seats. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys aboard and show it to you. I'm going to start, one of my favorite places on the boat is back in the cockpit. you just got a ton of space back here. You've got the rear-facing seating. Uh, you've got your fish box in the transom like on the 41. You've got a live well on each side. So you can access your fish, fish box from this lid and this lid. And then you've got a live well on both sides. So if you've got a bunch of people on here fishing, guys, you're not all fighting in one live well to get bait. Everybody's piling on one side of the boat. It's nice to have two live wells on a boat. You're fishing a lot back of the boat you've got the pull-out bench if you're familiar with regulator every regulator in the lineup has a pull-out bench in the back even the 41 you've still got tackle storage on each side port and starboard ports the left side of the boat guys starboards the right side you got some tackle storage back here got a freshwater shower back here these are flush ports you hook your hose up to these it flushes out the corresponding motor you don't have to climb back there attach the hose to the motor leaning out over the water fall in the water all that good stuff uh, the 37 is bracketed like the traditional regulators are so you've got a nice swim platform back there just like on every other regulator something they've designed regulators not known for this but we got in floor fish boxes on the 37 got a ton of room for fish on this boat guys so we've got some demo stuff in there this is a demo boat so we've got some stuff in there but we've got a fish box on each side port and starboard another favorite of mine is the rear facing seating uh, got a nice bench there guys you can sit there watch your lines if you're sitting at the sandbar you can hang out you got the sunshade and a little surprise when you sit down right here little AC blowing in your lap. Alright guys, I am on the new E seating on the Regulator 37. This spot is the hangout spot. We got the rear sunshade over our head. We've got AC that blows out on both sides. Hanging out at Crab Island, trolling, watching your lines, just cruising. This is a great spot on the 37. I really like this design. Up under me is the Sea Keeper and what we call the pump room. Your AC units under there. A lot of access to things that may need to be worked on in the future. Regulator thinks about stuff before they build it. They put it in a place that you can get to it. You've got this huge access to lots and lots of stuff. Everything's marine grade, marine quality. Uh, you've got your AC unit for the one that blows out here. There is a secondary AC unit for your console, uh, which I'll show you inside of there later. There's Sea Keeper access here. There are three fuel tanks on this boat for a total of 507 gallons. You've got a center tank and two wing tanks. Uh, you can swap over to which ones you want. Uh, you, this boat will run at cruise for about seven hours without having to swap tanks if that's a concern for you. So it's not something you're going to have to mess with on every trip, just on those longer trips. I'm going to close this up, give you a shot in the bilge. Again, a nice big access to the bilge. It's not where you want to spend a lot of time, but if you do, there's space to get down there. You've got a Cummins generator down there. When you get the AC and C keeper, that is a 13 and a half kilowatt generator. There's a diesel, separate diesel tank for that. Uh, it's a diesel generator. The buckets you see here, that's the optional bucket holder that regulator does. 
Same thing on the 37 as you've seen on many other regulators. They label pumps and uh, fuel filters and different items so you know what's what down there. Uh, the big thing on the 37 is that this boat is built up. You'll notice this is not the actual bottom of the boat. This is a flat build. You can get down in there and you're not standing on the bottom of the boat. And any water condensation that is in the bottom of the boat that's running to the back to be pumped out by the bilge pump is not there. It's actually up under there. That is huge in the boating world. You'll notice the dive ladder, a spot for it to be stored. I like that a lot. Ladders that you don't have a spot to keep it, it ends up bouncing around inside the console, hits something, breaks something, leaves marks. Just always a great spot when something has a spot on a boat. Take you around and show you the helm up here, guys. Oh, on the side of the tackle station, don't let me skip that. You've got a grill. And below that, you've got a refrigerator. So much cool stuff on this boat. Alright, let's get up here to the helm. Triple helm seats. You made it to the big boat world when you got triple helm seats. Turn around and show you the dash, some of the cool stuff that's been integrated into it. This is the uh, two screen setup. You can get triple 17 inch screens. I believe these are the 22 inch screens. Uh, we've gone to digital switching on the 37. What that is, is you can actually come in here in your Garmin and say your windshield vent, you can touch a button, close your windshield vent, touch the screen, open the windshield vent. That stuff goes for your rear shade, your nav light poles. Uh, you can come over here and turn bilge pumps on, water pumps, fish box macerators, live wells. You can cut your lights on and off here. Now your important stuff, this is technology uh, and really cool, but your important buttons are still down here like your horn, your bilge pumps, your nav anchor lights, uh, just to make sure there's a secondary easy to get to uh, button, especially for the old school. I, I like having a button there myself. Uh, nice flat dash really makes you feel like you're on a on a bigger boat. This is a big boat, but it, it makes me kind of feel like I'm on a sport fisher boat. Um, the over here you've got Yamaha Autopilot. This boat is trimmed out by Zipwake trim system. Uh, puts an interceptor in the water, and this system on auto runs great. No messing with trim tabs. You've got a wireless cell phone charger. This is the carbon fiber Edson wheel. This thing's really neat. It looks cool. Um, the push button start stop. You've got the Yamaha EX binnacle, the Yamaha EX joystick. The joystick is the new version if you haven't seen it. It has fish point, drift point, stay point, all right there. Easy to access. There's no more long press, short press on the joystick. So, real comfortable helm. Oh, yeah, again. AC. Uh, it's hot out here today, guys. You've got AC blowing right here. You've got AC blowing up here. We've got a little breeze out here, but it's still hot, and I can feel that AC sitting here at the dock, so it's great. Big three-sided windshield, so it does get rough out there. You've got some protection from the elements. Check out what's down here. And I feel that AC already. This is a very similar console to the 41. You've got a refrigerator, a microwave, over aft. You've got a fully enclosed head that you can take a shower in there. You do have hot water. You've got the cushion seating, the berth. It's AC. You can stay down there and be comfortable. Uh, I'm going to jump down there and show you one thing, guys, that I really like. You slide one cushion over here, and we have, oh, this thing's on some heavy-duty hinges. You've got carpeted, lighted, climate-controlled rod storage. Hope y'all can see that on the camera. I know it's a little tough, little tough angle there, but that's awesome to be able to keep your rods down here protected. You also have a TV down here, sound bar, so you can easily spend the night overnight on this boat. I'm going to come out of here and show you guys the rest of the boat. Coming forward, we've got the forward sunshade up. If you put this shade up, you put the rear sunshade up, 
We've got a ton of shade if you're out on the sandbar. Down here in Florida, the sun gets rough when you're out here all day, so this is a super great option on the 37. You've got the backrest designed in, like on the other regulator models. No finding your backrest, it's always there. You don't have to take it out. Those go up easy, they come down easy. You do have storage under each side. You've got your big locker up front. We'll jump up here. Lumar windless system. You do have a remote up here, which is nice. And you've got a freshwater hookup, so you can wrench your windlass up as it comes up if your chain's dirty there. Uh, and jump down. We didn't forget about it. We've got a table. Got your buttons over here. It's on hydraulics. Just like on the Regulator 41. Got a table that comes up when this thing goes down. It goes completely down flush with the deck. There's no steps, there's no bumps. It is perfectly flush. That does come all the way up and make a table. Uh, sit around, have your sunset cocktails, and enjoy, uh, enjoy the water. We're going to go for a ride and uh, show you some footage going fast. You can run this boat at 40 plus miles an hour in a big sea and sit back and drink a cup of coffee. Let's do it. Harbor. I appreciate you coming and checking the Regulator 37 out with us. 